Hi everyone! I am Centrally Acting Skeletal Muscle Relaxants. Here are my generic names with its brand names. First, Baclofen, Liorisol, Carisoprodol and Soma, Corazoxone, Paraflex, Cyclobenzaprine, Flarexil, Metocarbamol, Robuxin, Orphinedrine, Banflex, and Flexojet, Tizanidine, Xenoflex. Here is my chemical names. And for my drug classification for therapeutic, I inhibit monosynaptic and polysynaptic spinal reflexes, and other than that, it is a CNS depressant. And for pharmacologic, I am a muscle relaxant. My pregnancy category is category B. My exact mechanism of action of skeletal muscle relaxants is not fully understood, but it is thought that it involves the participation of the upper or spinal interneurons. And my pharmacokinetics. I have two routes, the oral and intrathecal. For oral, my onset is 1 hour, peak of 2 hours, and duration of 4 to 8 hours. For intrathecal, my onset is 30 to 60 minutes, peak of 4 hours, and duration of 4 to 8 hours. My indications. Centrally acting muscle relaxants are indicated for the following conditions. First, primary indication is a relief of discomfort associated with acute painful musculoskeletal conditions as in junk arrest of physical therapy and other measures. Alleviation of signs and symptoms of spasticity may be of us on spinal cord injuries or spinal cord diseases. For different age group, children, adults, and older adults. For children, the ineffectiveness not established in children. However, children older than age 12 may be given with metasalone. Baclofen, on the other hand, is used to relieve spasticity associated with cerebral palsy. Metocarbamol is a drug of choice for children with tetanus. Children should be monitored closely for CNS and GI toxicity. For adults, they should be cautioned to avoid activities that require alertness because drugs can cause confusion and drowsiness. Muscle spasm in adults related to anxiety can be treated with diazepam. Pregnant and lactating women should be advised to use contraception and alternative method of feeding respectively. For older adults, they are more likely to experience adverse effects associated with these drugs. Carisoprodol, the centrally acting skeletal muscle relaxant of choice for older patients and for those with hepatic or renal impairment. My contraindications Allergy to centrally acting skeletal muscle relaxants Prevent hypersensitivity reactions Skeletal muscle spasms caused by rheumatic disorders do not benefit from these drugs History of epilepsy Cardiac dysfunction Condition marked by muscle weakness Hepatic renal dysfunction and baclofen is not indicated for treatment of spasticity that contributes to locomotion, upright function, or increase in function. Blocking the spasticity results in loss of the drug's functions. Side and adverse effects that are categorized by body system. First, CNS can cause depression, drowsiness, fatigue, weakness, confusion, headache, and insomnia. For CV, hypotension and arrhythmias. For GI, nausea, dry mouth, anorexia, and constipation. For GU, urinary frequency, enoresis, urinary urgency, and corzozaxarone may turn urine into purple-red color. Tinazidine 
has been associated with liver toxicity and hypotension in some patients. Baclofen is tapered as 1 to 2 weeks pre to prevent development psychosis and hallucinations. There are nursing responsibilities before, during, and after. Before, assess for mentioned contraindications and cautions to prevent untoward complications. Conduct a thorough physical assessment and monitor liver and renal function tests to detect potential adverse effects. During, provide additional spasm and pain relief like rest periods applications. Discontinue drug at any sign of liver and renal dysfunction to prevent severe toxicity. Monitor respiratory status to evaluate adverse effects and arrange for appropriate dose, adjustment, or discontinuation of the drug. Provide comfort measures to help patient tolerate drug effects. Provide safety measures to prevent injuries. And lastly, educate client on drug therapy to promote understanding of the compliance. After, monitor patient response to therapy. Monitor for adverse effects. Evaluate patient understanding on drug therapy by asking the patient the name of the drug, its indications, the adverse effects, and lastly, monitor patient compliance to drug therapy. That's all for centrally acting skeletal muscle relaxants. Thank you for watching. I hope you have learned something. Bye!